in the past, uh, aquariums and zoos were consumers of wildlife, but with the existence of SSP and SSP type programs, no longer are we consumers, but we're conservers of wildlife. It may be necessary for us to reintroduce these animals to, to the wild sometime in the, in the next uh, decade or two, uh, if they keep disappearing at the rate they are now. Zoos may be the last salvation, the last hope for certain species, particularly if the populations are very fragmented and small in, in the wild. <laughs> SSP stands for Species Survival Plan, and the SSP is a major program of uh, cooperation between North American zoos to maintain small captive populations for long periods of time. So what the program does, in essence, is treat all of the animals of a particular species that are in captivity as one breeding population. It is very difficult to get humble penguins to breed in captivity successfully. In the last five years, we've been able to increase our colony population from about eight birds to the current 18. Just placing two animals together uh, male and female doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, that there's going to be a social or physical bonding. Many of our animals who are born here and, and grow up here uh, may have to be moved uh, as they become overrepresented or as they may not be able to, to uh, um, uh, propagate in our particular situation. We are well known among the zoo world for our success with snow leopards and sharing information about our successes to other zoos around the country, around the world, we're able to prolong the life and the well-being of these animals in captivity. We keep detailed records on animals so that we can supply the information to the SSP and they can make decisions on how to best breed animals together that are genetically compatible. One of the SSP animals we're working with here at Woodland Park Zoo is the Aruba Island rattlesnake, one of the rarest poisonous snakes in the world. And one of the reasons that we're keeping them in zoos and trying to breed them and maintain a self-sustaining population is in case there is some sort of disaster, a disease, or further human disturbance, there will be enough rattlesnakes in zoos genetically managed that will be able to release animals carefully back into the wild at some future point. These are two of the 32 uh, Rube Island rattlesnake babies that have been born here since, since we began the program in 1988. In 1991, we sent out 22 of the 32 babies that were born here to other zoos where they'll be used as the basis for an expanding breeding program. Uh, the lion-tailed macaques are an endangered monkey that comes from the southwestern section of India in the uh, heavily forested rainforest area. As a species coordinator, I coordinate the breeding programs throughout North America. I spend approximately 20 to sometimes 30 hours a week on this. We are breeding these animals to have them as sort of a safety valve in case some disaster wipes out all of those in the wild that we can then reintroduce them. The Snow Leopard SSP is probably one of the most successful programs in the country and we're very proud at the Woodland Park Zoo that we instituted the SSP program. Actually, all of the money for all of these pro programs come out of the individual zoo's operating budgets. There is no outside fund funding. It's uh, locally uh, funded from the different zoo's uh, conservation budgets. The Species Survival Plan, or SSP, is one of the most important programs that the Woodland Park Zoo is involved in. It takes a lot of our time and effort and every bit of it is worthwhile. We're just starting the SSP for tree kangaroos and we know it's going to be a lot of work. And as SSP coordinator, I'm fully committed and the zoo is committed to carrying out this work. And I think SSPs are the answer to the survival of many species. We can't save them all, but those that we can, we should.